Hello everyone, uh, this is your host Ryu and I'm back for another Street Fighter story time. I'm going to tell you all about, the, about El Fuerte and his gang. Uh, but first, I wanted to preface by saying hi to Matt G. Uh, Matt G for President 2024. Uh, you're the man with the master plan. Uh, your, your new song that you came out with. Oh, it hit me straight in the feels. It was it was good. Y'all should go listen to it. It was good. But okay, I wanted to say that. Um, now I'm going to start you all off with a quote from Shigure Kusaka from the anime Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple. Now, Kenichi, or rather Shigure, represents to me all teachers, from my um, all female teachers from my past, from my present, and from my future. Um, and any woman that I admire. A very short list, by the way. Okay, so I just wanted to, wanted to bring that up because if anyone's caught my references to her, they might be like, well, what's that all about? Well, that's what it's about, all right? And so the quote from her that I, I like, uh, because she's a weapons master, is this. Uh, if you only, yeah, if you only know how to use a weapon for its power, you can't become its master. When I heard that, it always stuck with me, all right? because it's true you know weapons can also be tools and if, if one doesn't have an appreciation for that they don't have anything really going for them no business right no business handling a weapon okay so because the greatest weapon of all let's be honest is love okay so this heartfelt and very special episode of oh, oh i'm here um i took the uh backway woods past the scary bridge which uh was in my opening and we are now in the Forgotten Forest. Home of the bum fights. Well, maybe later, right? <laughs> There's a guy, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that one for, for today, maybe another day. All right, so I'll get to El Fuerte in a second, his gang of drug dealing soccer players. But I wanted to say that this episode is gonna go out to Nancy and Leticia Hernandez. They were sold into slavery to some Mexican drug dealers by their illegal immigrant um, parents now this is why we now ladies I'm about to go in on you a little bit but it's with love so just remember what I just got through saying all right because women are voting didn't vote in Democrat for about a hundred years Democrats are essentially just commies they loosen up the borders and let stuff like this happen because if they would have been legally immigrated if drugs were legal and regulated uh, then none of this would have happened you know, and all you need is a little bit of republicanism here and a little bit of vote right there. But no, nah, we got to have people getting sold into slavery. All right. So I saw them years later, those two girls and they're women. They were women by then and they were doing OK, but that's in spite of the fact. OK, so the whole thing's messy and ugly. But I thought I'd go ahead and mention it to you all because this episode goes out to them because El Fuerte I mean, he might as well be the drug dealer they sold him to because, or their parents for that matter, because they're illegal immigrants, they sell drugs and they're committing crimes, all right? So I just thought I'd go ahead and mention it there to you so that you know. Uh, El Fuerte, before I get into it, um, you must defeat my sure you can just stand a chance. I mean, how did you not know that, all right? And just because you bought a gun doesn't mean anything because I brought the whole gun show. I have way more firepower, all right? Okay, so I did my shout outs to my girls. Y'all are all right. I, thank you for putting up with me, any female teachers and advisors. I know I can be quite the handful sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if you caught on, but uh, Rowdy the horse is, uh, he's, uh, he's, I'm Rowdy, all right? <laughs> I'm Rowdy and my brother's Stampy <laughs> for good reason. You know, twin theories, that's why. But all right, we're 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 taking a stroll. We are all up in there. Okay, so to, what's their names? Uh, to El Fuerte and his crew of illegal immigrant, coke dealing illegal immigrants. All right, um, what happened was my brother guy was yelling some stuff at him i guess he got on their nerves and they show up one day when i'm taking out the trash to uh beat me up like 10 of them and that's no exaggeration either 
Uh, no exaggeration at all. Y'all like cane poles? Yeah. Yeah. My tattoo monkey kick it starts with a front kick into a back kick rather than vice versa. That's how we do it. Okay, so so they show up i guess to just beat me up because i'm white and taking out the trash and vulnerable but they brought like 10 beer bottles and it was the whole soccer team that used to play play soccer behind our house well our apartment because we was in like a mexican dominated apartment complex well they show up to just kill me basically because i mean you don't you don't need 10 people to beat up one guy and all them bottles they had full ones they had uh empty ones all i got was a little scratch on my forehead but i want to go ahead and mention it because yeah, they was trying to kill me over nothing. And so they're all trying to jump me and I'm blocking bottles out of the air, like House of Flying Daggers. And, uh, oh, but first, uh, what's his name? Tried to uh, sucker punch me. He was like, you got a Glock in the car? And I was like, no, what do you mean? And I look away and here comes the punch. But I, uh, Miyagi waxed it off and, and kept myself from getting hit. And then I nailed him. Well, whenever he landed on the ground, I seen he had a gun in his shirt well the back of his shirt so i threw that in the trash the dumpster but they was throwing all these beer bottles and trying to beat me up while i was throwing them at each other okay and using them to block and all this but they threw some bottles on, on my porch and so forth afterward but i thought i'd go ahead and mention it to you all because these illegal immigrants are doing a lot of illegal stuff but el fuerte this is for you uh this was a battle of spirits not fists search your soul if you want to beat me Oh, here's the bamboo forest. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, I hope you have a good one. This has been uh, Ryu, a.k.a. Non-Luminous Flame and The Warring Bachelor. Been another episode of Street Fighter Storytime. And M. Bison, I won't hold back.